We would be honored if you would join us. Everyone's invited, of course. Hey, Star Wars fans and collectors, thanks for joining me for another video. Now, I just want to go over some different variations of the vintage Boba Fett. Now, we just have I've just received the retro collection version of Boba Fett here, and I have the 2010 vintage collection version here, which is uh, VCP03. That was a mail and exclusive back in 2010. It was a Toys R Us exclusive here in Australia. And uh, while I managed to miss out on that one, I did have a friend at the time in New Zealand who managed to pick one up, which I believe may have been a Toys R Us exclusive over there too. I can't remember. It's going back 11 years now. <laughs> um, so he was able to hook me up. And uh, yeah, I've, I've had this thing uh, for a long time. In front, I have two samples of an original vintage Boba Fett and a loose version of the retro collection as well. So I will pop these out of the cases and we'll take a look. I keep them in a, I've got this one in a star case by Protec. Uh, it's a pretty nice case. Let's put that aside. It's again, not the best sample, but uh, it's all right. I, as we saw my unboxing, it was uh, not great. So again, I'm not big on the retro collection, so the damage, slight bit of damage to the top of the bubble there, not a big deal for me. I really couldn't care less. The, card, the card's all damaged. Hasbro's made it look like that. I got a big ugly sticker on it. You know, I don't care if this looks a little bit beat up. It's not a big deal for me. I'll still keep it as protected as I can. So there's the back of the retro one. And I'll carefully pop this one out. This is an Evo retro case. You can sort of just see the website there. Evo retro, they do great cases as well. And I just had my first lot of them arrive a few weeks back. But this is a much better condition, this one. This one, again, another slightly different mold on the original. The retro ones have also been remolded. And this one actually had a rocket firing option, which was a nod to the old Kenner one that uh, never made it out. So you can see the missile in the side there. I've never opened it, he's still rubber banded in there. It looks really nice and clean. Get it nice and close, so I'll get rid of that reflective light. So yeah, this is a really nice sample. Unpunched. Beautiful. It's one of my uh, prize positions. There is a tiny little bit of tear there, which is unfortunate, but uh, it's okay. So we have the original. And that was the very first wave of uh, vintage collection back in 2010. It's really, really nice. So what I have here is, this is probably my better of the vintage, vintage copies. Now if I try and locate the date stamp, this is Taiwan 1979. I don't know what all that means. I know a lot of people have um, curious about country of origin. So when you see people in vintage Star Wars groups talking about CWO, it's country of origin. So this is the Taiwan. Uh, not sure what the uh, what the deal is there. I'm sure there's plenty of uh, vintage specialist collectors that could, could tell me a little bit more. It'd be great if those figures stood up in the background too. But uh, yeah, he's, he's, he still looks good. He looks fine. His paint detail is gone uh, across the chest. and uh, Otherwise, he's not too bad. I like keeping the uh, vintage figures as they're a little bit more beat up. They've got a little bit more of a story to tell, in my opinion. And here's my other vintage version which is a Hong Kong ver version it's looking a little bit worse for wear as well 
his uh, limbs are a little bit loose. Oh, not too bad actually, it's just this, the arms are a little bit loose. The legs aren't too bad. The paint's sort of gone from the face a fair bit. Now we'll compare it to... Get him to just stay. And we have the retro release, which... Imagine opening one of these back in the 70s and having it come out looking this clean. It's so good, like I know it's not original, <laughs> but it's so cool to have this figure with his gun nice and clean. He looks awesome. It must have been an absolute thrill back in like 79, 78, maybe late 78, early 79 to get this uh, awesome looking guy in the mail. So I'm really glad I picked up two of the retro ones, one to open. But uh, yeah, we can sort of just take a look at these two side by side. There are some colour variations. And this one's probably a little bit more blue in terms of the jumpsuit and helmet. Just some various changes in sculpt as well. And the same with these. One might be easier to look at. So cool. Anyway, guys, this is just a short video that I wanted to put together um, just because I did manage to get the retro one. So, just want to do a little bit of comparison. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Appreciate you watching. If you liked it, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do and hit the notification bell to get alerts every time I drop new content to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and all your support. I greatly appreciate it. Until my next video, may the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get on it.